today we're going to be looking at a Super 8 cine film and this is of the uh, 1979 classic Alien. Um, so as you might or might not know, um, I do a podcast called Alien in Character where we look at uh, different characters from the four Alien films. Um, so Alien is something very close to my heart. I've been after this cine film for quite a while. It tends to go for quite a pricey amount. Um, I think they're quite rare um, and this one I managed to pick up uh, for a fairly good deal because the case is not in the best of conditions. You can see it's starting to break up. Um, it suffered a lot of water damage. I've managed to um, repair it so basically I uh, took the sleeve out and put it on a sort of a, an in, almost an industrial uh, press for making t-shirt patterns and that's sort of straightened out really well. The case is still a bit battered but I'll keep an eye out for a better case for it. Uh, so let's have a look. So this is Super 8 Color Sound Alien 20th Century Fox. So you've got the classic Alien poster design. It's really nice. Um, this is selected scenes 17 minutes, 360 feet. Um, so obviously cine films came in different sizes ranging from sort of 50 foot which lasted a minute or so uh, right up to uh, most were 400 feet or 360 or anywhere in between and that gave you 17 to about 20 minutes of film um, and then you could also see like they'd sell packs where you'd get five or six and make up whole film um, but this is selected scenes so let's see back at the back so we've got a nice shot of the Nostromo, classic design, and a couple of uh, a well-known publicity photo and a not so well-known one. Um, and we've got a write-up of the film, Journey into Deep Space and Witness True Terror. Um, so it tells you a little bit about the, the film. It doesn't give much away as to what's happening, which is good, because obviously you, would, uh, you wouldn't want to know it before you saw it. Um, it tells you it's uh, got a good cast, which it has. Um, and some uh, credits, and then just some uh, sort of copyright. And this is by Ken Films. Um, and if we open it up, we've got the cine film itself, and it's in a nice 20th Century Fox molded case. Um, like I say, my worry on this one that was. That the case has obviously had water damage, so there's a bit of there was mildew, had to sort of get rid of it. And obviously, cine films are very prone to damp, so it was a bit of a gamble. This um, would the film play, would it not? If it gets mold in the film, that's usually pretty much a good buy for it because it's very difficult to clean. Um, but then I played it and I was absolutely amazed. I, I don't think it's been played before, the color. Although when you'll see the clips, um, it always looks a bit red on the phone for some reason. In real life, the colour isn't anywhere near that red. It's some of the best colour I've seen on cine films. I think it's been <laughs> presumably kept somewhere cool and damp, uh, hence the mould. Um, but the colour is spot on, no scratches, pristine print. Um, interesting that you get a, a different credit sequence, because obviously it's been made for the film. And then the ending, I, I videoed almost all of it, <laughs> literally, like three seconds before the ending, um, uh, uh, we had ordered pizza and it turned up. So the ending is, uh, I've not reviewed it back, so it might be missing, but what's really weird is, so it's a, an amazingly clever edit. So they've edited the film down to 17 minutes um, and they've done some clever stuff. It must have been a shock if someone had only ever seen this and then watched the film fully. They, they would be very shocked by some of the sort of changes that happen in it. Um, and then right at the end, so uh, Ripley blows up the uh, Nostromo, and that's it, happy ending, <laughs> which is really bizarre. So you get none of the uh, Narcissus shuttle stuff, um, which is a shame if you're a fan of Sigourney Weaver. Um, as I say, it's film in great condition. It's got all the, uh, the leaders and the trailers, you know, beginning and end. It's all marked up. Interestingly... Um, on the film it's called The Alien, um, let me see if I can show you, um, 
which is I thought I thought was interesting. So obviously this is before it became a very very famous film. Uh, as a kid, oh, if I'd have had this, I would have been amazed because this is pre um, pre video. Um, so the only way you could watch something at home would have been on the cine. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see if we can find it. Where is it? Ah, here it is. So you can see it says the alien long uh, and that's because this is a long version there was a shorter edit as well um, so let's watch a few clips i'm not going to show it in its 17 minute entirety unless you want to see that i'll probably get me a copyright strike anyway but let's have a look see some selected scenes and then we'll come back for a summation Thank you. 
air shaft. It's a period of one of the This air shaft may work to us, I'm sure it leads up to and comes out in the main airlock. All right, there's only one big opening along the way. We can cover that up, and then we drive down the airlock and jump in that station. Okay, well, as you can see, really good print, good sound, crisp sound, um, always a bit noisy with the projector. Um, I really should get a sort of a, a, an extension speaker for it. Um, but yeah, great, great print, really clever editing. You basically get the entire film, you get the gist of it, all the good bits, you get a chestburster scene, um, you get all the deaths. Yeah, re really well edited, whoever edited this digest version. Much better than some of the others, because what the, they would usually do on Sydney. Can you hear that? My laptop's having a fit. Um, what they would usually do on these uh, cine films is you'd get, it's like a, a block of film, so you'd get a five minute block, uh, and it usually wouldn't make a lot of sense. 
but someone's really put a lot of effort into this, uh, which is uh, very nicely done. Um, so I'm really thankful I've got it. Um, I'm going to keep an eye out for a better case, but in the meantime, it's going to take pride of place on my alien collection shelf. And if you want to see more cine films, let me know. I've got an absolute rook of them. Um, I do enjoy a cine evening now and again. Um, but please like and subscribe if you can. Uh, and thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks, then. Bye.